What are the grounds for marriage annulment in the Catholic Church? Let's also look at the canon laws. There are very well-defined canonical grounds for marriage annulment. Once these have been established, marriage annulment can proceed. It is important to understand the grounds for marriage annulment before making an application. Insufficient use of reason You or your spouse did not know what was happening during the marriage ceremony because of insanity, mental illness or lack of consciousness. Grave lack of discretionary judgment concerning essential matrimonial rights and duties. You or your spouse was affected by some serious circumstances or factors that made you unable to judge or evaluate either the decision to marry or the ability to create a true marital relationship. Psychic nature in capacity to assume marital obligations. You or your spouse at the time of consent was unable to fulfill the obligations of marriage because of a serious psychological disorder or a similar condition. Ignorance about the nature of marriage. You or your spouse did not know that marriage is a permanent relationship between a man and a woman, ordered toward the procreation of offspring by means of sexual cooperation. Error of person. You or your spouse intended to marry a specific individual who was not the individual with whom marriage was celebrated. For example, male order brides, otherwise this rarely occurs in the United States. Error about a quality of a person. You or your spouse intended to marry someone who either possessed or did not possess a certain quality. Example, social status, marital status, education, religious conviction, freedom from disease or may even an arrest record. That quality must have been directly and principally intended. Next is fraud. You or your spouse was intentionally deceived about the presence or absence of a quality in the other. The reason for this deception was to obtain consent to marriage. Total willful exclusion of marriage. You or your spouse did not intend to contract marriage as the law of the Catholic Church understands marriage. Rather, the ceremony was observed solely as a means of obtaining something other than marriage itself. For example, to obtain legal status in the country or to even legitimize a child. Next is a willful exclusion of children. You or your spouse married intending either explicitly or implicitly to deny the others a right to sexual acts open to procreation. Willful exclusion of marital fidelity. You or your spouse married, intending either explicitly or implicitly not to remain faithful to your partner. Willful exclusion of marital permanence. You or your spouse married, intending either explicitly or implicitly not to create a permanent relationship, retaining an option to divorce. Future condition. You or your spouse attached a future condition to your decision to marry. For example, you will complete your education, your income will be at a certain level, or you will remain in this area and then get married. Next is past condition. You or your spouse attached a past condition, so your decision to marry and that condition did not exist. For example, I will marry you provided that you have never been married before, or I will marry you provided that you have graduated from college. Next is present condition. You or your spouse attached a present condition to your decision to marry and that condition did not exist. For example, I will marry you provided you don't have any debt. Force. You or your spouse are married because of an external physical or moral force that you could not resist. Fear. You or your spouse chose to marry because of fear that was grave and inescapable and was caused by an outside source. Error regarding marital unity that determined the will. You or your spouse married believing that marriage was not necessarily an exclusive relationship. 
error regarding marital indissolubility that determined the will. You or your spouse married believing that civil law had the power to dissolve marriage and that remarriage was acceptable after civil divorce. Next is error regarding marital sacramental dignity that determined the will. You and your spouse married believing that marriage is not a religious or sacred relationship but merely a civil contract or arrangement. And the last one is lack of new consent during convalidation. After your civil marriage, you and your spouse participated in a Catholic ceremony and you or your spouse believed that you were already married, the Catholic ceremony was merely a blessing and that the consent given during the Catholic ceremony had no real effect.